Hello there, I thought it has been quite some time since I last shared progress about the mod. So today we talk about five smaller things that change in the mod compared to the vanilla game in the last mod version. So, first things first. The mod adds support to the gate and that's something quite special because I didn't even know it's an issue in the vanilla game. I only found it out recently by accident that Bethesda seemed to forget that you can look through the roof when you stand here if there aren't supports. That already brings us to the second change the mod will bring compared to the last version. So I changed the flagpole to be up on the fist top mountain because I thought it makes more sense but many people weren't able to get there or didn't really know how to get there so there is this door that was leading up directly to the fist top mountain but now you have a fixed quest marker that brings you there and even better there is an entirely new interior which will lead up to the fist top mountain moving on with number three we have another cosmetic change and it's very simple but still effective i would say the flag actually gets raised to the top of the flagpole And there we are at number four. Number four is something very small, but very effective, I thought. The map icons change depending on the faction you choose. So, no raider symbols anymore. And so, there we go. And the last change for today is probably the biggest change for others to make the park feel more like a player home and that is all workbenches being linked up with each other so more comfortable crafting it also contains the interiors of the park so all around Nuka Town USA you will be able to Use all resources and items that you put in the Nuka Town USA storage chest. So there we go, five small changes that the mod will bring to Nuka World. And if you want to have more information about the mod's progress, I highly recommend checking out the Discord server, link is in the description. And well, see you next time.